we're going to LA. Hey guys, how's it going? So Scott here from, obviously Scott Space Lessons, weird if it was somebody else, right? It's Tim here from Scott Space Lessons. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to keep you guys all in the loop because we're about to do something insanely cool here at Scott Space Lessons. The team and I, or part of the team, sorry for the rest to the rest of the team that aren't coming with us. Um, you'll, you'll get it in a bit, but um, part of the team and I, uh, we're going to LA in a couple of days. We're going out there. Uh, to shoot or to begin shooting a an interview project which will ultimately become a podcast and um, we're going to be putting some videos on YouTube. The full shebang, now you might have heard me talking about this on you, on Facebook because I put a post up about it, uh, but if you haven't, let me tell you all about it. Okay, so just can I just uh, apologise for all these coffee cups here as well. I've got, um, this is just today, it's not really, but I am actually trying to give up coffee. I keep on telling my wife that I'm going to quit it. I just love it, um, but for you guys in the States, Greg's top quality coffee. Not really, but all you guys in the UK will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going over to LA to to kick off what is probably going to be the most epic interview project ever. Nothing like a lofty goal, is there? Um, and just to let you know who we've got, and the reason behind it is I'm a massive podcast fan. I'm super into podcasts, and and I also want to put these some of these videos on YouTube as well. And nobody else is really doing it um, to you know to a really cool level that I want to do it to, which is why I thought it'd be a wicked idea to do it. Um, somebody's got to do it right. And uh, so so far, this is who we've got lined up next week. Hold on to your pants. Uh, we've got Nick West, we've got Juan Alderetti, we've got Tim Lefebvre, we've got Sean Hurley, Rufus Philpot. I'm hooking up with Warren Hewitt, who we did the uh, the online session thing with last week or the week before. He produces for and songwrites with guys like Aerosmith and uh, and cool guys like that. We've got Hadrian Frode, we've got Andrew Goucher, we've got Ricky Minor, um, we've got Tanya O'Callaghan. We, we're doing a ton of people out there. I'm probably missing some people off, so apologies if you're watching this and you've got an interview with us. You know, it's not that I don't think you know think you're awesome. I do. It's just because I haven't got them all written down here. Um, but on Monday as well, on day one, is on Monday on day one anyway. And we're hooking up with Chris Cheney, and I haven't even told D Mac yet. But we're we're in for a bit of a uh, that's D Mac by the way. Everybody knows who D Mac is. He's actually called Denmark. I always get asked whether it's his real name. His real name's Denmark Creary. What's your YouTube channel, D Mac? Denmark Creary. Denmark Creary is performing to thirteen thousand people on Saturday. Saturday. Two two days before we go. Yeah, a couple of days before we go, he's just slipping on stage. Um, at Leeds Arena and doing a quick, uh, you know, a quick piece in front of thirteen thousand people. No stress, mate. <laughs> Don't stress it. Don't look. Can that guy speak? Can look at him. He's looking forward to it. He's buzzing. So yeah, thirteen thousand people on Saturday. Um, but, um, what am I saying? What am I saying? It might be Saturday. It might, I might put this on YouTube on Saturday actually. So if I put it on YouTube on Saturday, it's uh, it's tonight. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So look out for for DMAC. Um, so as I was saying, I haven't told DMAC this yet. But on, we're going to, we're landing midday in LA. And then, so that's sort of like seven or eight hour time in the UK. And then we're dropping our stuff off at the house. And then we're hooking up with Chris Cheney for dinner. So Chris Cheney's the bass player for Jane's Addiction. And he did, a he toured with Alanis Morissette, you know, or, you know, I was going to say years ago, one of my favourite albums, Jagged Little Pill. But Chris was the guy that did all the bass work and touring with the Alanis Morissette band. And so we're going to be hooking up with Chris for an interview. We're going to be going to, to dinner with him. And the gag is that this is going to be, I'm just going to put this, you know, so I've got it on tape. It's going to be about, you know, two or three in the morning, our time. So we all look completely destroyed in the interview. You, you're going to, that's why. The cool thing is we're going to be doing uh, daily vlogs as well when we're out there. Who knows if this is even going to be doable. Can we do two or three interviews a day? And we're also going to be doing a vlog as well, daily vlog while we're out there to keep you guys in the loop of who we're hooking up with and what we're doing while we're out there. Um, but, you know, so, but unfortunately, it's all going to be on DMAC. No pressure, DMAC, because DMAC's going to be the one asked to sort of like film it all and edit it all every day, the vlogs and tough life. Tough life. Tough life. He can take it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah so tune in next week on YouTube there'll be videos coming up every day tune in check out what we're doing um, I really would love you to support this project 
Um, there's so much work gone into it, not only from me, but also uh, Denmark's going to be doing a ton of stuff. Uh, Lawrence Blackadder, hey Lawrence, if you're watching, he's kind of the project manager on this and he's put it all together. And then just out, a massive shout out to the SBL team as well, Mike and Callie, Jeff, Travis, Laura, uh, Mark... Uh, and everybody else that I've probably missed off. But yeah, there's a, there's a few of you. But um, I just wanted to show you all the gear that we're taking as well. This is all the gear that we're taking. Um, we're just figuring out whose cases that these are all gonna go in. We've got um, the cameras over there. We've got we've got this cool little thing here. It's like a little, oh, little Yamaha thing because some of the, we're doing um, some interviews at their houses, but some of it we're just gonna do at our place as well that we've hired over there. And for that, we're just going to go direct into logic. But I wanted to, the guys to be able to hear themselves when they were playing. So we got this just as a little monitor that we're going to use so they can actually hear what they're playing in the interviews. Because you've got to have some bass playing in a bass interview, right? Um, so we'll be using this. I've just actually checked it out. It's okay. You know, the output is super, super tiny. Um, otherwise, it distorts. But it's just a monitor. It's really cool. Um, I don't think I'll be using it at any stadium gigs. But other than that, yeah, we've got the, we've got all the mics. Hopefully, we've got all the mics. We've got the power strips. We've got the cameras. It's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you there, guys. But yeah, tune in next week. Daily vlogs every day. <laughs> Sorry, Dmac. <laughs> every day, and uh, obviously my idea, right? Of course, it was my idea. <laughs> Oops. Um, daily vlogs every day. Tune in. Support the project. Um, tell all your friends about it that are into bass that there's going to be this amazing new podcast starting and we're also going to be putting some of the videos on YouTube as well so you can check them out hopefully I'm really aiming this to be a weekly thing as well um, and it's going to be epic so other than that well, let me get George in because George is just obviously the king of the king of SBL here's George look at George isn't he the cutest dog ever hey George look at that sweet but look at him Beautiful, isn't it? Hey, if you like dogs, give George a like down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Other than that, guys, take it easy, and I will see you in the shed. Let's see them in the shed, Denmark. Bye.